Which character in Darling in the Franks is most likely to be X'd off? Zero two, maybe. Hero, also maybe. Ichigo, maybe. Gorum, almost guaranteed. Now I have a pretty good intuition of when a character will be killed off in anime. Off the street, to be honest. Let's, let's go. Oh shit, never mind, never mind. I almost, you almost got me killed, dude. Not sure why, but I can almost always peg a character's upcoming demise. First character death in Recreators, not naming anyone to not spoil anyone who hasn't watched it and plans on watching it, but yeah, I saw that coming like five episodes ahead. My point is, I'm making this video as a theory, but also just for the sake of saying I called it if it does happen. Now I know that might sound a bit conceited, but just listen, I'm just being honest. I like putting my opinion out there, throwing all the chips on the table, so to speak, and if I'm wrong, I will eat my words, and truthfully, I do hope that I'm wrong, as Goro is a very nice character, and I would like to see him live happy ever after. But my intuition alone is not great proof. My intuition on this stuff does have a good track record, but there's more to it. Goro has consistently been one of the most level-headed and kind-hearted characters in the show. It's clear that Trigger wants us to like Goro. It's also true that Trigger loves messing with their fanbase. Goro being such a likable character puts a target on his back. Then there's the foreshadowing that occurred during the discussion a while back between Ichigo and Goro. Ichigo literally says that the way Goro was speaking, his kind words, and his demeanor, it made it seem like something horrible would happen to him. And that's about as clear a foreshadowing as it gets for a death flag trope. There's also the relationship between Hiro and Goro. They both greatly care for each other. Hiro even sees Goro as a brother. Such an emotional attachment towards a main character in a verse that is this dangerous is a red flag. And that goes for any character, really. But it's just another fact that raises Goro's flag a bit higher. Director Nishigori also said that he doesn't know if there will be a happy ending for everybody in the show, but he hopes it leaves viewers with a satisfied ending for each character's purpose. Now, based off the fact that Goro already has many death flags, I think this solidifies his upcoming demise even more. Also, in episode 14, Goro sees Ichigo cucking him for hero, and Goro's response is one of praise. In episode 15, he even gains more praise from the fandom by talking sense into Ichigo to allow Hiro to see Zero Two. Goro's popularity is exploding all over the fandom. Posts on the front page all over Reddit, memes galore about his greatness, it's all going according to Trigger's plan. They will watch eagerly as the fandom loves a character that they plan to kill off. I'm sure that they can't wait to see how we react when it happens, and I do think it will happen, but that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can be aware of when a new video comes out, and if you do all that, well, I will catch you next time.